logging creates woody debris, or slash. Retaining this material can be good for nutrient recycling and wildlife habitat, but in some cases it can also be a fire hazard and a barrier to reforestation. One option for removing unwanted woody debris is burning it. Hello, I'm Mike Caffaretta with the Oregon Department of Forestry. This video will show you how to prepare and burn a woody debris pile safely and effectively. Your planning should start before your timber harvest operation begins. Contact your stewardship forester for help with your notification and burn permits and to learn about the right time to burn. You'll find our contact information at knowyourforest.org. Landowners and loggers should come to an agreement on how debris will be handled. It's best to include it in writing as part of your contract. Identify in advance where the slash will be piled. Locate your slash pile on mineral soil, away from trees and other living vegetation. Stay away from any stumps remaining from past logging. Avoid building piles near structures, on steep slopes, in depressions or riparian areas, or around power lines. Start with larger debris on the bottom. Eight inch diameter pieces should be a good upper limit. Try to avoid very large pieces or stumps very large pieces burn longer and can cause control problems should the weather change. Try to keep dirt out of the pile. Piles without dirt burn faster and cleaner. Once the pile is about six feet high, spread plastic over the top of the pile. Use three or four millimeter polyethylene plastic to keep the rain off. Make sure the plastic is placed in a way that will protect your pile from prevailing winds. Secure the plastic to the pile and continue to pile debris on top. Make sure you can still access the dry section under the plastic from the ground. This is where you'll light your future fire. Once your pile is complete, keep the area around the pile clear until you're ready to burn. Let your pile season before burning. Drier piles burn more efficiently than fresh piles. Check local burning regulations to see if burning is allowed in your location. East winds are one of your primary concerns. Watch the weather closely and don't burn if these are in the 10-day forecast. Be prepared with the correct burn safety equipment, including eye protection, hard hat, gloves, first aid kit, cell phone, and fire extinguishing tools. If the conditions are right, it's time to light your piles. Using a drip torch, propane torch, or newspaper, light the dry area of debris under the plastic. Be safe. Do not climb on the pile while lighting. Watch your pile to make sure the dry debris has caught fire. It's important to remember that you are responsible for the fires you light. You need to monitor the pile burn carefully. Pay attention to the long-term weather forecast, especially those east winds that can cause the fire to spread from your pile. Check back each day. Well-constructed piles will often burn for a week or more. Dig into the ashes to make sure your fire is dead out. Poorly constructed piles can smolder for months. If there is a risk of fire spreading, extinguish the pile with water, soil, and equipment. We hope this helps you understand how to safely and effectively build and burn slash piles. More information can be found in this pamphlet from the Oregon Forest Resources Institute. It's free to order from their website. Find out more at oregonforests.org.